What could be the world's first memorial pet reef is right here off the coast of Florida. A new organization is turning the ashes of pets who have passed away into reefs that help replenish the ocean. And one family from Jacksonville got the chance to be one of the first to use this new service. On your side, Satia Collins spoke with the family and has the details for us tonight. She meant the world to us. She was a really loyal puppy, loved fireworks. That was her character. <laughs> when Cindy Tenhagen lost her beloved chow hound mix, Bella, last year, she wanted a way to honor a pet that had been there for her family's ups and downs. That's where pet reefs came in. When we found out about it, it helps actually ocean life so corals can grow. So we as a family decided, right, that's a great opportunity and yeah, so this way she can live on and it's a beautiful way to honor her. Bella's cremated remains were placed into this reef ball memorial along with a golden plaque inscribed with Bella's name. Ten Hagen drove more than four hours to jump on a boat and drop the memorial into the waters off Sarasota in what could be Florida's first undersea memorial garden dedicated specifically for pets. They're going to stay there pretty much forever and become part of the ocean floor. So it's, it is, you know, compared to like just scattering ashes, those are gone. This is a, a permanent resting place um, for someone or someone's pet. Co-founders of Memorial Reefs International say the reef ball's texture allows for coral growth and will become a shelter for fish and other marine life. Not only does it help the ocean life, but it gives families like Ten Hagen's a spot they can come back to and remember their pet. You are never forgotten by us and we keep you in our hearts forever. The goal is to put pet memorial reefs in oceans around the world to help ocean conservation efforts. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.